On this day in 1991, the Persian Gulf War, an international conflict that was triggered by Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, ended as Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein accepted a ceasefire agreement. The Persian Gulf War was an international conflict that was triggered by Iraq's invasion of Kuwait on August 2, 1990. Iraqi's leader Saddam Hussein ordered the invasion and occupation of Kuwait with the apparent aim of acquiring that nation's large oil reserves, cancelling a large debt Iraq owed Kuwait, and expanding Iraqi's power in that region. It was the first major international crisis of the post-Cold War era. General Norman Schwarzkopf, Commander-in-Chief of U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, directed the coalition military campaign and his staffs have devised a two-part operation that was designed to wear down Iraqi's defenses before rapidly enveloping and destroying them. The two phases of Operation Desert Storm were a coalition air operation which started on January 17, 1991 and a ground offensive dubbed Operation Desert Sabre. Allied forces had three main objectives during the air campaign to establish supremacy, to destroy strategic targets, and to degrade Iraqi's ground forces. The objective of the Allied naval campaign were to maintain a defensive screen around the six U.S. Navy aircraft carriers that were conducting operations in the Gulf, to destroy the small but potentially effective Iraqi coastal defense navy, to clear Iraqi submarine mines from the combat theater, and to threaten a major amphibious assault on Iraqi's forces in Kuwait. Operation Desert Sabre the coalition ground offensive began on February 4, 1991. The Allied Army engaged and destroyed the Iraqis' armor reserves, including Saddam's elite Republican Guard divisions near Basra. The remaining Iraq forces in Kuwait collapsed and fled to Basra, suffering heavy casualties and forcing Saddam to accept a ceasefire operation on February 28.